Hey everybody, today we're going to be discussing plagiarism. We're going to look at what plagiarism is, and we're going to talk about how to avoid it, and what committing plagiarism can mean to your academic and career goals. The Webster Dictionary defines plagiarism as to steal or pass off the ideas or words of another as one's own, to use another's production without crediting the source. Essentially, you're taking someone else's ideas, someone else's thoughts, someone else's work, you're putting it in a paper or submitting it in some way where you're trying to make it look like it's your ideas, your thoughts. These are new ideas. You didn't get them from this other source. So it's important whenever you're discussing something from a source that you found, you always provide proper citation to that source to say, this is how I found this information out. This is where this information comes from. To commit literary theft, and yes, plagiarism is theft. It's theft of ideas, theft of research, theft of work other people have done, or thoughts that other people have had, and present as new and original the idea or product derived from existing source. So in other words, taking their stuff again and saying, hey, this is mine. All right, so why is it important that we worry about plagiarism? Well, there's several reasons. One, and probably the most easy to understand reason, is because when you do these assignments, you're supposed to show that you've learned something. You're supposed to show that you understand the material. You can use the material to solve problems or to talk about and discuss issues. And that you have a deep and clear understanding of what you're talking about. There's no way to gather that you have that if all you've done is take someone else's material, copy and paste it into a submission. All that shows is that you know how to use the copy and paste functions of Word or some other processing system. Okay, so the first one is you want to make sure that your instructor or your professor knows that you know what you're talking about, that you've learned something in the class. Second reason is because plagiarism is theft. When you take someone else's ideas and present them as your own, you have stolen those from that individual. You've taken something they created and said, no, this is mine. And finally, a big reason that we take plagiarism so seriously in this program is that you want to work in the criminal justice system. You want us to give you the responsibility of carrying a gun in our communities, caring for people in vulnerable populations, doing all these things. They require a great deal of ethics, morality, and judgment. How can we, in good conscience, give you that type of responsibility and trust you if you can't help but cheat on a paper or an exam? What does that say about how you're going to operate as a criminal justice professional once you graduate? So what exactly is plagiarism? I mean, we've talked in general terms. But basically it's taking something someone else has created. It can be from a website. It can be from a book. It can be from your textbook. It can be from someone you know. Taking their information that they've created and thought of and then just writing it down and presenting it as, hey, this is my information. Short quotes are okay when you're writing a paper, but you don't want it to be the entire paper. And anytime you do a citation, you want to make sure that you cite it in APA format so that you're saying, hey, this isn't my idea. I got it from over here. But you don't want to, in most cases, quote them word for word. The best way to do it is to summarize the information that you're getting from this external source and apply an APA citation within that summary. That way you're taking that information and using it in an academic way and you're showing that you understand and can interpret that material. Plagiarism does include copying off someone but also allowing someone else to copy your work. And then of course there's always a question, well, what if I've written a paper similar to the one we're writing in this class? Can I submit my former paper as a, a submission for this class? And the answer is no because there is such a thing as self-plagiarism. You're given these assignments for a reason. It's to help you interact with the material you're learning in this class. You're not going to gain anything new by resubmitting something you already created. But you might learn something new by creating something else to submit for this assignment. And so it's always your responsibility to submit a new assignment for each one given. So how do we avoid plagiarism? Well, the first thing you do is you summarize information that you've gotten from this source in your own words. You don't give a lot of exact quotes unless it's something that really needs that to substantiate or give gravity 
to what you're discussing. And then there should be very short quotations. When you summarize the information, you interact with the information. You learn from the information. You become a stronger academic and professional. Always use proper APA citations. That tells the reader, look, this isn't my idea. I got it from here. Go check out this article or wherever I got the information. If you follow these guidelines, you'll be pretty safe in turning in a paper that hasn't been plagiarized. The key to it is summarize, 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 and avoid direct quotes and always give citations when it's information you didn't come up with your on your own, but you found somewhere else.